What's up everybody, Steve here, Trailer Park Cooking. Uh, I'm stuck again without a cameraman today, but it's Trailer Park Cooking in a trailer park, so what do you expect? Uh, it's Valentine's Day, so a lot of people are doing the going out for dinner thing. I like to stay home and cook for my old lady, so I'm going to be showing you a couple uh, appetizers that she's requested, but I'm going to spice them up a little bit for Valentine's Day. So, we'll just show you a little bit of the ingredients. We got ricotta cheese, some tostitos, cheddar, matzo, some parm, some feta, garlic, parsley, jalapeno peppers, Velveeta, cream cheese, some stag chili, some pre made Pillsbury pizza crust, some butterfly chicken, and some chipotle chili powder, some butter, some liquid smoke, some Hellman's mayo, and then I've uh, pre fried some bacon here because for the poppers uh, it just creates less grease if you pre-fry them a little bit first a little bit easier to work with and I have my cast iron skillet here that I've loaded with olive oil so I'll get back to you on uh, how I'm going to be preparing these things uh, stay tuned for more thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe what's up everybody back here at Trail Fire Cooking Valentine's Day special we got these uh, butterfly chicken breasts one of the uh, appetizers that was requested were my chicken bites which is just simple chicken grilled salt and pepper and dipped in a chipotle mayo I think the star of the show for that is the chipotle mayo but anyways I cut the chicken into hearts just to keep with the Valentine's Day theme you'll see what the finished product looks like coming up alright so jalapeno poppers cut out uh, I want to give a little shout out here to Miller's barbecue go and give them a follow um, before them I used to cut my jalapeno poppers in half uh, but they've shown me a new way to make a deeper pocket to get more filling in there and that's just to cut the tip off the jalapeno uh, clean it out you can leave as many seeds or membrane in as you want that's the spicy part of the jalapeno we take most of it out again shout out to Miller's barbecue for the wicked idea on making a deeper pocket there for the jalapeno poppers Let's go give them a follow and stay tuned and for my chili cheese mix I like to use a brick of Velveeta just a small size brick and a can of chili if you have some leftover chili this would be the best time to use it let that melt together mix it all together serve it with some Tostitos the ultimate chili cheese dip stay tuned Alright everybody, so the next appetizer I'm going to be making is a garlic bread stick with a cheese dip in the middle of it, all baked together. So I just ripped a basic pizza dough into 12 pieces, uh, roll those out into snakes, and then tie the snakes into knots, and then put the knots in a heart shape into the cast iron skillet. Now I'm gonna let those rest for half an hour, and it's gonna be good to go. Alright, so here we got the mixture. It's ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, red pepper flakes. And over here we got some butter with some garlic and some parsley. Uh, it's about six cloves of garlic. The remaining three, well it's divided, three in this and three in this. This is the cheddar cheese, cream cheese, salt and pepper and liquid smoke mixture. That'll be going inside the jalapeno poppers. My chipotle mayo, chipotle seasoning, uh, liquid smoke, which is a really great addition to anybody's barbecue repertoire with the chipotle. And I add a Hellman's mayo and a little bit of smoked paprika. It's going to be great for the chicken. Alright everybody, trailer park cooking, Valentine's Day. We've got the four appetizers here, we got the Italian garlic butter ultimate cheesy bread bites in a heart shape badass chili cheese dip we got the jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon always good and heart shaped chicken bites with chipotle mayo so thanks for watching make sure you subscribed and have a good happy valentine's day peace out